Hi, welcome to Nancy Knows. I think that most of us remember Dear Abby or Ann Landers. Remember when we used to get the morning paper and sit and have our coffee and, you know, wait for the kids to get on the bus? Well, it's 2017 and most of us are now online. And for me, most of the questions that have come up were about relationship or dating and, you know, just, just things that we want to know about when we're talking about our life experiences, finding ourselves suddenly single after the age of 55. So we decided that I would do a column and not a column in a newspaper, but in fact a video kind of column in my website called Nancy Knows. I welcome you to send me any questions through the website, through my email. Get the questions to me and I will be so delighted to answer them. Thank you so much for Nancy Knows. So for today we're going to start with some questions that I've had that have come in this week from my clients and I hope that you'll feel free to send in any question. No question is, is too silly or ridiculous. I want to answer every single one of your questions. So I'm going to begin and I'm going to read some of these questions. The first one is um, coming from a woman who says, I'm 58 years old. I cheated on my boyfriend of six months. Should I tell him? Or is this a sign that I should break up with him? He's been a good companion, but there's no magic and there's no romance. Well, obviously, if you've cheated on the boyfriend and you have found magic with someone else, you absolutely do need to be truthful and, and delicate and gentle and loving, but you need to allow the truth to surface and let go of this wonderful person who's been a companion of yours and strike out. I know it's difficult, sometimes you feel vulnerable, but it's time for you to yes, tell him, and yes, move on. So the, the next question that I thought was very interesting was, uh, coming from a woman, she's in her mid-50s, she's dating a man who's almost 15 years younger than she is. She really enjoys him and she is having the time of her life but her friends and her children don't approve and she wants to know what she should do. The truth about this is that this is your life. You're born alone and you will die alone and everything in the middle is all about you. So enjoy your life. Stop wondering what you should say to people's friends and family members. If they have nothing better to do than to focus on you and your relationship with this younger man, I'm, I feel sorry for them. But really, I want you to go and enjoy this relationship with all the gusto that you can have. Okay, my next question. I am 33 years old, I'm dating a nice gentleman, and I've been dating him for over a year. He has a daughter that is my same age. Uh, she of course disappro disapproves of the relationship and she does everything to thwart it. What should she do? Again, a similar kind of question. You're in a different age category and that's always going to bring up concern for people who feel threatened by that. And I think what you need to do is give it a very good, healthy shoulder shrug. And if she wants to have fun with you, and if she wants to be your friend, and if she wants to enjoy the fact that you're making her father really happy, that's up to her. Remember, you can't change anyone. They are who they are, and you need to allow them to be exactly who they are. But you need to enjoy this relationship and not have her be any concern of yours at all.